right here guys it's uh came cook up time again so you know what to do go grab yourself a drink kick back on the lounge and uh hope you enjoyed tonight's dinner cook up time again um, I'm out this week at the Mill Creek campgrounds tonight's cook up really easy one I think so gonna do some uh, pork ribs just a little bit of olive oil some uh, some rub a bit of salt pepper garlic and also a barbecue rub on the barbecue probably about uh, 150 I'm hoping two or three hours we'll just see how it goes nice and easy this one um, coat the alfoil bit of olive oil put some seasoning on there as I said barbecue is already preheating so let's get into it Just a barbecue rub, also the salt, pepper, garlic. I'll probably um, double wrap them. <laughs> Again, guys, you know it by now. I do far too much food for one person. They're in the barbecue. As I said, I'm hoping for probably 150 degrees. Pretty sure that should be close to uh, cook. Um, then I'm hoping that the bone will come out I'm gonna do a, a like a focaccia bread. Uh, probably try to toast that a little bit. Take the bone out, put the meat on there. Also gonna do a honey barbecue um, sauce. We'll base that on um, just to finish it off towards the end. Probably a let's go say five bourbon cook up. So you've seen the sauce before. Um, it's just a barbecue sauce. And then I just mix some honey with it. So we'll just get a good dose of barbecue sauce in there. Don't be scared with the honey. Get that all in there. Mix it up. When the ribs are close to being done, I'll then uh, baste it in, over the ribs. Cook them for a bit more in the barbecue. Going to toast the uh, the bread, and then should be ready for dinner. All right, so I've just whisked up the um, the honey and barbecue sauce. You've seen me do it before; it's not that hard. So I had a full loaf of stone baked bread. Um, you can use whatever you want, a damper, whatever suits you guys. But I've cut it in half again way too much food for one person but cut it in half just going to put a bit of oil or butter on that get it on the barbecue then i'll undo the ribs um baste them in the sauce get them back onto the uh, barbecue let's see what these are looking like still probably a little bit longer to go so i'll wrap these ones back up and uh, continue cooking they actually weren't that far off. So what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll take these ones off. The other ones I've already deboned. So I'll take these off and let these cool down. So I've just put the uh, just put the bread on. Just going to let that toast a little bit. Just put the ribs on that have been deboned. Just going to put a little bit of the uh, barbecue honey glaze on there. Just let that go for another minute or two. On the plate, job done. There you go, guys. A 
pork uh, ribs with a honey barbecue sauce, slow cooked on the barbecue um, with a stone baked uh, loaf of bread. Just as a sandwich is one, nice and simple, you guys can do it. Um, that's a big meal. I've still got half a ribs sitting over the side there, a half a bread roll. Possibly more of a lunch meal than what it is a dinner meal. Um, and this half that I'm doing here, you could serve two people with. Um, not sure it's better than the ribs I did when I cooked them in Coca-Cola. They just fell off the bone. These ones are nice, and that sauce is just as nice as the last one I did. However, I think I would do the ribs in Coca-Cola with vegetables on the side as a dinner dish compared to this one. This is a lunchtime meal, a lunchtime sandwich. Um, you couldn't go wrong. It's a big meal. And this alone, I'll just bring it up. That, the size of my hand. When I first started, it probably about the size of my hand. Two people, quite easily. Anyway, I'm going to keep going. Cheers, guys. Leave comments, let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hit that little notification bell. That will let you know there's another video coming out soon. Cheers, guys. Travel safely.